I'm Sarah Miles. I'm a mum and a deer stalker. I've been shooting since I was about eight years old. I originally started getting into the shooting wild by literally shooting a few air rifles at home. My dad was a gamekeeper. He was really keen into his hunting and his stalking. But actually, at that age, I didn't have any interest and I really didn't like it to begin with. So I started doing a bit of air rifle shooting. Dad really tried to get me into it. It took a little while, um, but I eventually started going out and doing some beating on shoots and then I really started to enjoy the gun dog side of it. So I ended up getting my own gun dogs and doing a little bit of picking up. I applied for a job at a local gun shop, which I didn't have much knowledge at the time on a lot to do with guns, but I was lucky enough to get a job there. Over time, I become more involved in it. I learned a lot as I was working there and I realised that actually rifles was what I really love to shoot as opposed to shotguns, which is how I then ventured into the world of deer stalking. We're just going to head down through this woods and turn right and then it leads into another field and there's usually a couple sat out there so we're going to have to be super quiet once we get down there. I began stalking originally by going out with friends and people that were willing to let me go out and sort of walk alongside them and see what it was all about. And I was lucky enough to be able to take my first shot on a deer many, many years ago. And it's kind of just moved on from there. So now that I've got my own license and my own rifle, I have eventually been able to get out on my own, get myself some permission and start doing deer stalking on my own. Around me in Somerset, we've got mainly open grasslands. We do have a few woodlands that we stalk as well. And it's just a great mixture really. We tend to find where we are, there the deer come out sort of last light in the evening. They sort of draw out from the woods, out, out into the open fields, and that's when we get a chance to take a shot on them. So the reason I love deer stalking so much is for me, is because it's more than just pulling the trigger. It's the whole journey from start to finish, whether you manage to get one or not. It's going out, it's being in the countryside, seeing different things. You see so much wild, other wildlife when you're out as well. And for me, I find when I'm out in the middle of nowhere with a rifle, it's the one time that I really just switch off. I don't think about anything else. I'm solely focused on the reason that I'm there and what I'm trying to do. I often get asked how it is being a female in field sports. It can be difficult at times. Often I get a lot of criticism. I get a lot of people that talk to me and look at me like I probably don't know what I'm doing. And I don't know everything. I don't believe everyone does. There's always room to learn. But I don't think there should be such a stigma on women in field sports. How I look at it is deer stalking, shooting, clay shooting, whatever it be, should be no different to any other sports. In football, you have men's football and women's football. You get men and women that play tennis. But for some reason in field sports, it's such a big hype that she's a woman and she's deer stalking. And I don't feel like there should be so much 
around that. I am just another person that enjoys this sport as much as anybody else, whether that be male or female. I can only see the top of his head and his antlers at the minute because he's in the really long grass. So ideally, I'd like it to stand up so I can actually see what I'm shooting at. It's definitely a buck, but it's not. It's a safe shot. I can't see what I'm shooting at. I am only where I am today because of my dad getting me into the field sports. Obviously, I didn't like it to begin with and now it's a massive passion of mine. Sadly, he's not here anymore and it is hard to carry on knowing that this is all because of him. But I really hope to continue doing this and pursue the dream that he enabled me to live.